What's going on, man? Let's get it, man. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for the NFL playoffs, baby. I'm excited, man. A lot of people ask me for NFL prediction video about things will happen in the wild card round. Just as a reminder, last playoffs in a wild card round, I believe each game was decided by six points or fewer. Um, either walk off touchdown or walk off field goal. So last year was epic in the playoffs. We're gonna see what happens this year. But let's go and get to the first matchup: San Fran and Seattle. This one I'm going with San Fran. I think they just got too much talent. This is a team on the collision course with the Super Bowl berth. I think only one team can stop them in the NFC. We're gonna find out if they're able to do to do so. Um, Seattle, I like, but I just don't think they have enough weapons. Um, I mean, I like you know Ty Lock. I like DK Metcalf. I like Geno Smith, but I just think. You know, congrats to Geno Smith for winning the, the passing record and surpassing Russell Wilson for most passing yards in a single season. But I just don't think they're going to have enough. So for that one, I'm going San Fran. The next matchup will actually be Los Angeles against the Jaguars. Jaguars got a really good defense. Alua Khan, uh, Josh Allen, uh, Trevon Walker, they got some dogs there. Want to see if Trevor Lawrence, who has actually never lost a game on Saturday, high school, professional, or in college, has never lost a uh, game on Saturday. So we'll see if he can keep that. Phenomenal feet up and phenomenal record up. It's going to be, you're going to find out. But and nonetheless, I think Chargers going to win this one despite now, despite Mike Williams not being here, being absent. I think they got just too much fire power. I think they're a team that's playing really good right now, even though I believe they lost to the Broncos. But I think this is a team that could be very scary. It's my sleeper coming out of the AFC. Could make some potential noise. We're going to see what's going to happen. But I got Chargers coming out. Next matchup, it'll be during the day, 1 p.m., Dolphins. Bills, I think Bills are going to come out here with a victory. I know they're still emotional, but I think, you know, knowing the good news, DeMar Hamlin's is back. He's doing good. I think they're going to win this game. They got too much firepower and talent. No two is going to play. That was announced by Mike uh, McDaniel. Um, it's going to be Skylar Thompson. I just don't think they're going to have enough. I think Raheem Mostert is still hurt. So I don't think they're going to have enough to stop Buffalo, and I think Buffalo is going to be on the high. So I got um, Buffalo winning that one. Then on to the next game, it's actually going to be uh, the Giants and the Vikings. I got upset here. I'm going to go Giants defeating Minnesota. Um, I think the Vikings, too many one-score wins this year. 12-0 uh, and in one-score victory games, but they just disappoint you in the, some of the biggest moments. I don't believe in the quarterback. I like her Cousins. He's a decent quarterback, but I just don't believe in long-term. I think Saquon, I think Daniel Jones is going to have a big game. I got them winning. On Sunday night, Bengals, Ravens. I'm going to go with my hometown team, my favorite squad, the Bengals. Um, I think they're going to win this game. I think it's going to be good. They can't sleep on the Ravens. They're a very talented bunch and group. Um, it's going to be very intriguing to see who comes out uh, and starts. It's going to be Tyler Huntley or it's going to be uh, Anthony Brown. I don't think Lamar's going to play, but I'm going to roll with my Bengals nonetheless. In the last game, Dallas, Tampa Bay, I'm going to roll with the GOAT, Tom Brady. I think he's going to come out here with a victory. Dallas, you know what happens to play time with them, so I'm going to just roll with Tampa Bay. I appreciate y'all tuning in and tell me what you think of my picks.